challenge. Welcome everybody to the revival of challenge! Ah, with me, Garkon, Vex, and Vampire Mecha. Oh my gosh. You never thought this would come back now, did you? Mm. Where's Mega, you might be asking? Well, he's not going to be partaking this time around. We're doing it new! With new people! Well, two new people anyway. <laughs> well, anyway. Anywho. It's already started, actually. Garkon was already issued his first challenge. I am actually the second one doing a challenge here. His first one was on Cooking Mama, issued by Vex because reasons, and... Well, Garkon issued me the challenge of doing Mario Remix Boss Edition, a Flash game on Newgrounds. <laughs> so, that's exactly what I'm doing, and that's what I'm gonna play. And he wants me to beat Dracula. With no practice, I get four chances. The only practice he permitted to me to do was to get used to the game by I could fight the other bosses. And, well, let's just say that all these bosses in these two tiers were pretty easy. And Dracula is in this tier, which is reassuring, I guess you could say. I couldn't beat any of these freaking bosses, though. My goodness, they were impossible. And it kind of sucks, too, because I was doing my little practice on these other bosses, and I ended up using items. Which kind of sucks, because, you know, I'm these items are, well... I, I guess they're helpful anyway. This gets me extra chances, this gets me extra chances. I'm actually not even sure what the difference is, to be honest. What is the difference? Because, I mean, this would give me an extra hit. And when I bought one of these, I got an extra hit too. I bought one of these as well, but I never get to use it because I refreshed the game and my items disappeared, but my coins didn't come back, so that was freaking cool. But anywho, though, I have four chances. And like I said, I wasn't allowed to practice, so that's what, I'm, that's what I did. I'm going into this completely blind. It's the only boss I didn't fight, because I wanted to, like, you know, get an idea. Like, hmm, how many hits does every boss usually take in, in general? And it seemed like it was a decent amount. It wasn't too bad. So, all right. Okay, here comes the first attempt. Vampire Mecha, I will be issuing your challenge at the end of this. I'm going to be issuing challenges for him this time around. Uh... There's a video about it with rules, too. I'll, I'll link that somewhere in this video. Probably at the beginning, or maybe the middle right now. Maybe at the end. I don't freaking know. But it'll be in the description, too, probably. Alright, let's get started. Dracula, how's it going? I'm not Simon Belmont. I'm Mario. Oh, gosh. Hi there. Okay, well, that's... Oh, gosh. You can't just warp on top of me. That's not cool. Oh! Ah, oh, Jesus, terrible. All right, chance number one's done. Here comes three more chances. Chance number two, begin. I'll probably use all my items at the end of this because I don't want to lose. Ah, oh, got you. Take that, Dracula. Ugh. There's two hits down. There's three hits down. Ah. Oh. I feel like nothing should have hit me right there. I feel like I jumped over those fireballs. I really do. All right, chance number three. And I'll go nuts with some items at the end of this. Huh. One hit. Alright, this is cool. This is really cool. Alrighty, here we go. This is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to buy some items. Garkon didn't say I couldn't buy items, right? At least I don't think he did. <laughs> Alright, okay. I'm going to buy one of these. I'm going to buy... I still don't really know what the ice flower does, to be honest. I kind of wish I had a chance to experiment with that, but I I had to refresh the game because I was like, what? How do I use my items again? And then when I refreshed it, the ice flower was gone, so I never even got to try it out when I was initially experimenting with this. That kind of sucks. So I don't even know if it's any good or not. I'll buy one just in case. Maybe it, maybe it is good. Maybe it's not good. Who knows? Woo! Okay, here we go. Here goes something. Let's go. It's a me, a big Mario! Oh! Oh, yes! I've got you! Oh, oh no! Oh. Okay, that's a... Uh, oh! Oh, wait, what is this? I know it's a D to freeze, but I'm not freezing him. Oh, you suck! Heck with you, Dracula! Ugh! Oh. Ugh! Oh. Okay. Well, I should have two extra hits anyway. Oh no, that's one extra hit. Uh. Why am I making this so hard? Ah, no! No! I'm gonna lose! 
I'm losing, I'm losing, I'm losing. Clutch it, clutch it, clutch it. Clutch it. Oh yeah, okay, that, I can just... Ah, oh, that's fine. Huh, yeah, oh uh -huh, yeah. I'm not taking my chances. Huh, yes! Take that, Gherkin! <laughs> I freaking got you. Oh my gosh. Woo! That was way too intense, let me tell you that. Okay. Uh, you want to see some other bosses, everyone? I'll show you a couple other ones just for no reason. Hmm. What would be a good one? What was one I, I thought was kind of stupid? I thought... I thought all these were kind of stupid, actually. I could tell this was actually tiered off. I, I didn't really know what it meant at first, like mushroom tier, coin tier, what does that mean? Flower tier, feather tier, egg tier. I started from the top, so I was like, I don't know what's going on here. So, I got these defeated as my first ones. I got 10 coins each. I was like, oh, that's cool. And then I, and I was like, then I did these and I got five. I'm like, oh, okay. So, these are the lower tiers and those are the higher tiers. That's how I knew. I'm like, oh, okay. So, it wasn't just a coincidence. I beat three of these in these tier and suddenly was beating these ones kind of easily, too. I could have beat Krakomire, but I was like, eh, I don't want to mess around with this too much. I'll show you Ground Man because I felt like that was one of the easier high tier ones, honestly. Because I felt like I got a decent number of hits on this guy. But, at the same time, it was kind of, I don't know, it's kind of dumb. I mean, are these kind of just hits? I think that's what I'm not understanding here. Because I felt like I wasn't getting any feedback on this. I was like, oh, okay, it looks like I'm getting hits on these, but I'm not sure. How do I know? Huh. Anyway, I'll just do this random little attempt here, just to show you this stuff. And uh, then I'll issue your challenge, Mecha, if you're watching this, which you should be, I would think. I don't know. Huh. It seems like I can usually get about three hits per attempt on this guy. Seems pretty reasonable. Of course, I don't even know if these are counting as hits, because maybe it's not counting as hits. Maybe it's just a thing. Like, no, you're not supposed to attack him like this. How could you? What were you thinking? What an amateur. Ugh. There is a run button, too, but... I didn't understand the freezing. It literally said D to freeze, but I clearly wasn't... Ow. Oh. And that's kind of the shenanigans with this guy, too. He, like, just comes out of the ground, and you don't know where he's going to come out of. So, yeah, Whatever. It is what it is. Freaking item shop 2 OP. Please nerf. <laughs> Alrighty. Alrighty. Okay, Mecha, here's your challenge. I'm going to start you off simple. At least I think it's simple. I don't know. I hope it's simple. You're going to be playing Super Mario 3. The first world of Super Mario 3, specifically. It is not going to be a time challenge because I know I probably did a lot of those in the f in the original run of challenge, so I'm going to switch it up just a little bit here. You're going to be doing the first world. I'm going to give you a maximum of three hits allowed. Or actually, no, 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 no. No, let me rephrase that. You get two hits, your third hit is your game over. If you get hit three times, you lose. So, here's the catch though. If you get hit at any point during level, whether you have a mushroom, a fire flower, or you're small, you have to die and restart the level from the beginning. Not the world, but just the level. So if you're on like world, the third level or whatever, you just restart that level. You don't, you don't do that. And you have to do every single level too. You can't like shortcut it or whatever. Like, oh, because I know, I know in Mario 3 they had that thing where you can choose like, oh, course 3, course 4, which one do I want to do? Or you didn't have to do one. I forget what it was, but you have to do all of them. Every single level. All the levels, all the castles, beat the boss, and that's the end of the world, and you win. But of course, like I said, if you get hit, you have to die, so it doesn't really matter whether you have a mushroom or a fire flower or anything else like that. So, anywho, yeah. And it also doesn't matter which one you play. You can play either the original Super Mario 3 or you can play the All-Stars version of Mario 3. I personally prefer the All-Stars version, but you're free to play whichever version you want to. So that's your challenge. Good luck, Mecha. Maybe next next challenge, if you prove yourself capable, maybe I will give you a harder challenge than the next one. Alrighty. Everyone who watched, Mecha, everyone who is doing things, I don't know. This game is kind of hard. Garkan thought I'd probably be streaming this game after I played this, but I honestly am not. I think there's a lot of shenanigans with these bosses, and I don't really want to mess around with this, to be honest. So, anyway, I'll see you all later, everyone. That's the reissuing, the re the restarting a challenge? Yes, that makes sense. Oh, excuse me. I'll see you all later, everyone. Goodbye for now.